Namaste and welcome to the Arts Center Project Podcast. My name is Abby Sabati, and if this is your first time listening to the Arts Center Project Podcast, don't forget to check out our previous episodes. You can listen to our podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Google Podcasts. It's that time of year, folks. The time where kids drag their parents to Party City, where they spend around $100 for something their child will only wear once, and then let it rot in their closet for the rest of eternity. The most wonderful time of the year. Why am I telling you this? It's because I recently got my Halloween costume, and it was the worst experience ever. And you get to hear about it. My terrible Halloween costume experience. Lucky you. So it all started when my mom, my sister, and I went to get flu shots. I do not like it. But we didn't, because turns out you have to schedule an appointment if you don't want to wait in the store for four hours straight. After we scheduled our appointments, we decided to go get my Halloween costume. Everything at Walmart, where we went to get our flu shots, was cheap and lame. No offense, Walmart. My mom tried to convince me to buy something cheap, but I did not want to. And it's not because I'm a spoiled brat. Surprise, surprise. (laughs) Then why is it? Because I wish that I were at least half demon, the wings, horns, and tail part. Preferably the ones that have little wings on the sides of their heads. They look cool. And the one day that I get to be one, I plan to do a good job of it. Meaning, I don't want to go lame. We did find a cute demon costume, but turns out somebody took the dress out of the package and left the package there. You know who you are, and I have your address, and I am coming to your current location. I am rapidly approaching. Just kidding. Or am I? Hmm. So we found nothing at Walmart, so we decided to go to a different place, which I plan never to go back to, not in a million years. Scary Jim's Halloween. My sister decided to stay outside because the place looked pretty creepy. I mean, there was an open coffin inside, coffins outside, the windows had weird pictures, so yeah, I don't blame her now. They had huggy wuggy jumpsuits from what I could see outside, so my mom and I went in. There was a coffin with a fake body inside and there was also a knife. That did not scare me. Because I was expecting it. I mean, if you have, if there's a coffin, then you expect for something to be in it. Right? I thought so. Anyway, we kept searching for stuff to add to my Halloween costume. Because we didn't really get anything at Walmart. Correction, we didn't get anything at Walmart. I did see these really cool bracelets with demon wings on them. But I didn't pick them up. I wish I did. We kept walking, and there was a point where I was behind my mom, so I cut under some masks to get to her. Then I looked up. That was the stupidest mistake of my life. I looked up, and staring down at me was a freaking Jeff the Killer-like mask. I'm not kidding. It seriously looked like it. I got scared at that point because I was not expecting that. Kind of like how if you opened your door and Sonic.exe was sitting there, you weren't expecting that, you'd be scared. If you looked out the window and there's a lunchroom sign that says, Got milk? Outside your window, you'd be scared because you were not expecting that and it wasn't there two seconds ago. If Huggy Wuggy's at your door, you're scared because you're not expecting that. You get the point. I ran over to my mom and kept walking. She could see I was scared and laughed. I guess it's really funny (laughs) if it didn't happen to you. Then we enter the pirate section. I'm not kidding, they have a whole section dedicated to pirates. And turn right. Correction. This was the biggest mistake of my life. Because there was this display of creepy stuff holding weapons. And it really scared me. Because again, I wasn't expecting it. Also, 
someone looked like they were about to throw a knife, and I turned around and got out of there without even grabbing the cool bracelets. I regret that. Got in the car and demanded we get moving. You can expect that that generated a lot of laughs. We drove to Party City. This is where it was a little bit better, but not by much. My mom asked me if I wanted to go near the creepy clown that you see when you walk into the store and look right. I said no, and she left. Here, we assembled a demon costume, and it contained finger slush. Shut up, they're cool, and not because me and I wear them, and not just because me and I wear them. They just look cool. But then we picked out a trident. My sister poked me in the bum with a small one, and it hurt. I poked with a big one, and it did hurt. So I took the small one to threaten people. Also, small is cute. Then while my sister wanted to go find herself a Halloween costume, she tried to find an inflatable dinosaur. We just walked around looking for stuff. Then I saw this weird witch and I'm like, let's not go this way. But we went that way. Then there was this just shelf of dolls and one of the dolls activated and it said some scary crap. I forgot, I was scared. And I was like, no, 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 nobody, no, 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 no. So we left with my demon costume. My sister didn't find anything. My mom laughing, and I ate a whole bag of cheese fries. The end. I never, ever, 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 ever want to do that again. Thank you for listening to the Our Sunday Project podcast. Please like, subscribe, and share this podcast with someone you know. We'll see you next time.